Good morning everybody and once again the van has the mystery non-starting so I came out yesterday to go out and turned it on and there's nothing look not even a, not even a yellow light that's ignition on like absolutely nothing at all um, <clears throat> so I think somehow the battery is being drained by something so I started taking all of the uh, electrical components out one by one. And I think possibly it's the bat the um, radio. So the next thing is I want to take the radio out and disconnect the radio. But what I'm going to do, Tony's got a multimeter. Um, he's going to lend that to me today, and I'm going to check. That. I'm going to uh, put the battery on charge and check every single connection. Um, and see if it's uh, drawing power somehow because uh, there we are yet again dead battery and I even tightened the alternator up fully the other day like uh, really really tight now there's a few wires on the alternator that I've checked are all connected so I can't see it's that and uh, um, Tim uh, in Kent, the ROC guy that came and helped me, he he put it on, so and, and it and it was working, so it was charging quite a bit. Uh, it's just gone again. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> those are the things that are sent to test me. I don't need it today, um, so I'm working again on Tony's house, finishing off the kitchen. Looks amazing now. I'll I'll, I'll do a, a video later. Had a really good weekend. Um, I went out with Sam. She took me on loads of trips all over the place, which is really nice, just to show me around this area. Yeah, went to uh, a place with this massive viaduct. I can't remember the names of the places. And the viaduct, um, there was people bungee jumping off, which is really good fun. And they had this big zip wire there. Um, and uh, and there's a, a go ape type place there as well. So really good for kids if you were coming and staying around this area. So there's some really fun things to do around here. We went to Confalon as well, which was really nice. Went, um, she took me over the old bridge um, and went for a, a cheesecake, a little cafe there by the river. Oh my God, it's the most amazing cheesecake I've ever tasted in my life and I love cheesecake, but it was, it was amazing. I'm feeling really good. Uh, had another Sunday roast yesterday, which is two in two weeks, which is really amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really good in myself. Uh, really enjoy myself here getting on with Tony's work he's teaching me stuff um, in the building trade tiles kitchen um, today we are tiling the fireplace and uh, he's building he's rebuilding a cupboard and putting some shelves in but uh, it actually looks phenomenal now it looks really really amazing bit of an overcast day today actually rained last night but quite nice I went on a really good bike ride the other day. I think I videoed that, so you'll see that in a, in, a, in a previous episode. I really have been forgetting to take my camera with me, so I've got to remind myself, because um, the last two days I've been on some really amazing places. I've taken some photos, so I'll put those photos up. Um, but, um, yeah, I've got to remember to bring the camera. I apologise, it's been a few days since I've done any recording at all. I've been so busy here and then out all weekend. You know, it was a really lovely weekend, went all over the place, visited, um, as I say, some really lovely places. Um, but yeah, so uh, this week, so today in the house, finishing the kitchen. I think this is the last few bits he needs to do and the kitchen's then done. And then tomorrow we're going to a place called Sheru and there's a house there that he's... Uh, doing about some bathroom work and then some outside work with plumbing, uh, a drain, fitting a drain and a pump, doing that. And then I think later in the week, um, putting a new driveway in somewhere. And I think today he's going over there. There's a house over there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can see it through those trees. See the roof over there? But there's a farmer that lives there called Jean-Claude. And he's got a barn and the barn's through there. Again, I don't know if you can see that on this camera because the zoom isn't really good and he's got some tiles that have moved off his house <clears throat> and um, he wants some corrugated sheeting replaced on his barn which is really good for Tony because it's hard to get a French person to 
use a non-artisan uh, to do the work. So Tony being a Brit, doing work for a French guy is, is actually really impressive. So um, what I said to him last night is he should put um, a, uh, a quote from uh, Jean-Claude, like a testimonial, in French on his website, um, which will look really good for people who look at his website, seeing that actually French people are using him as well, which will improve uh, his business. But uh, all going really, really well. As I say, I'm really improving in my mental state, feeling, feeling really happy at the moment. Really, really good. Um, it's, and it's been a testament to being here and uh, just away from everything negative. Um, all the people here have helped. You know, Sam taking me away like all weekend to all different places, showing me around everywhere was really lovely. Um, cooking me a roast dinner <laughs> was really nice. And I've been helping her. I've been doing her fence fencing. So my weekend work, I've been help supporting her doing some fencing and that. I was going to do some gardening and grass cutting um, but apparently in her village where she lives after a certain time on a Sunday you can't cut grass so I I couldn't do that but yeah I've been helping her out and she also said that she might have a few odd odd jobs here and there uh, on the weekend um, with other people so that'd be good for a few extra pounds uh, today is Monday the 30th, 30th? Yes, today's 31st, I think. Monday the 31st of August. And I think, fingers crossed, I hear about whether I get the ski job or not. Obviously, you're not going to know about that probably for and four or five days' time when you hear this, which will be four or five days' time, and you'll know whether I have or not. It's hard, it's hard recording and um, in the future. So I'm kind of doing it today, but I won't be uploading it for a few days because I've got other stuff still to upload. And I've been really slow at that. Again, I need to improve on that. But yeah, so right now I'm going to take the battery off the van. I'm going to get it on charge. Later, get Tony's multimeter and just test anything electrical that I can see with power coming from the battery into the van and uh, just disconnect everything that's got any live power to it for now. Um, so that'll save me having to borrow vehicles. I had to borrow Tony's wife's car yesterday to go out so I uh, don't want to keep doing that and especially if I eventually leave here you know to go sort of ahead of my trip down if I get a job in the Alps if I heading down there um, I will um, I'll need this so I need to get it fixed I need to get it sorted so as Sam mentioned a, girl, a guy called Greg who's a mechanic um, so she's going to talk to him maybe and he worked on VW so maybe he would um, have a look at it for me but yeah so might see that yeah so today um just based around here again today i will do a quick video of the kitchen as well uh, once i check that no one's in there and no one's in their pajamas <laughs> and then um i'll add that to this to this stretch of video but for now good morning and uh have a great day everybody don't forget to like share and subscribe to my videos good afternoon um, my job for today has been painting all of these Windows here, indoors, grey. Letterbox, they were white, same as the shutters. All that, that's pretty good. I'm guessing I'll carry on down here later on in the in the jeet. Oh, it's actually already grey. Oh, okay. This one maybe, because the paint that Tony's got and Justin's got actually goes over over the um, UPVC just covers over put three or four coats on but yeah that's uh, my job for the day okay I'll speak again soon